previously on Pokemon Shining Sword. It is a type null, and I would guess that it is a bug type type null. Oh, okay. She's a little sassy, this one. Yo! Squirtle, Bulbasaur, come on in, sweetie. Huh? <gasps> oh, I forgot all about this! What's up, Drifloon? There's no way you're a bug type. Yo! Oh my god! Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm pretty guys in the episode of our Pokemon Shining Sword Nuzlocke DLC adventure here for the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra. If you guys are excited, and I know you guys are, I want to see you guys bring the hype on the like button down below. We hit over 7,000 likes at the time of recording this on the last episode, and I set the like goal at 7,500, so I know you guys could do it. For this one, I'm going to lower it just a little bit, but I need you guys to keep bringing the hype, because if you hit that like goal on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you get a bonus episode on Sunday, so we're going to set it at 6,000 likes for this one, which is super duper hype. I hope you guys are excited as we are jumping into this this incredible extreme custom adventure for Shining Sword and I am very jazzed up about it. Before the episode, I went through the team ever so slightly and I just made a few tweaks. Basically, I just gave some moves to different Pokemon um, and gave some held items to everybody. So like I gave Vile here a U-turn. I gave um, Jim obviously had the scope lens. And for those who don't know, Jim loves to dig holes and he's critting fools obviously with his sniper. We've got Shell Shock here. Which, honestly, he really loves hugs, but he's a bit spiky. He's got that rocky helmet to pair with his rough skin. We've got Blimp. Blimp loves fire, but does not like s'mores, if you didn't know. He's got the flame orb to benefit from that flare boost. I gave him Will-O-Wisp and Hex. I thought that was kind of fitting. And then Norbert here, who flosses twice a day, carrying that silk scarf, and has that boosted headbutt, because he's normal and bug, which I just feel like is super duper cool. So, that's where we're at with that. Viral hasn't smiled in a long time. I'm just telling you that. And we're gonna jump into things, and the last thing I wanna tell you guys is I got my amazing, amazing Squirtle Squad shirt on here, 007. I've got these amazing shirts for the three starters, which I thought was fitting since, you know, we have Shell Shock on the team. And you guys can pick them up from TeamShotty.com if you have not done so yet. You can actually get all three shirts for just 60 bucks. These are super high quality shirts. People in the comments, you can vouch for them because I know a lot of you guys already picked them up. But if you haven't yet, you can pick up one of the three starters or all three in a bundle for a great deal. TeamShotty.com. Without further ado, let's see what's going on. On the last episode, we had to collect a bunch of max mushrooms, and now we're delivering them to Mustard here in the dojo. So let's do it. I think we're gonna make some big soup today, ladies and gentlemen. Which, by the way, one of the good improvements of the Isle of Armor, it feels like it's been so long, about a year since Isle of Armor came out. They really did some good things. I think that they should have had that in the main game, but the fact that you can add Gigantamax, there was a time when we couldn't do that, so... It's crazy. I remember having a shiny Charizard that I used as a non Gigantamax in competitive, but it wasn't shot. You know what I'm saying? It was just crazy stuff. So, hey there, A Drive. Welcome back. Looks like you nailed the trial. Congrats on finding the max mushrooms. Trial number two is no problem for you. All of my other students ended up getting lost in the forest. Turns out finding max mushrooms was the least of their problems. It's a shame, but I guess everyone other than A Drive will fail the trial. Womp, womp. womp. Well, first things first, a proper meal. Let's have the max mushrooms made into delicious max soup, shall we? Ooh, let's do it. We're making that soup, though. I'm not a big soup guy, like, in real life. I mean, I'll have some French onion soup from time to time. Like, if I'm out at a restaurant, I'll go French onion, because I like the cheese on top, usually. Um, I'll give you my max mushrooms. Here comes Clara. Wait a minute. What's up, Clara? What's going on? What got into you? I was telling you guys about my soup feelings. I've got some max mushrooms too. Yeah, Clara, no one asked though. You're a little bit late. You're the s- Oh, they're gonna give her the pass for the trial is what it is. She did it, she did it. Oh my goodness, okay. This is cause for celebration. Why? Why? I want to use my max mushrooms in the max soup. I really want to share my hard work with everybody here. Oh, Clara, well, if that's what you're after, then I'm happy to oblige. Though this is the hardly the first time you've asked for something. And I rather doubt it'll be the last. Got yeah, called out right here. Called out. I hope you don't feel that your thunder is being stolen, A Drive. I kind of do. I kind of do. But we're family here and family share. I'm going to talk about that for a second while we're on the topic of food. I don't know about you guys, but in my household, we never ate family style, okay? We always, if we were to get Chinese food or takeout or any outside food, 
we would always get our own food. We would always order what we want, and that's that. I understand that some families out there, and there's nothing wrong with this, order family stuff. So they just order a bunch of stuff, and then just everyone picks at it. And I, I appreciate the strategy and variation, but I've never been a family style kind of guy. Because I want to order my meal how I want it, with lots of hot peppers on it, and some ranch dressing all over it, and all that good stuff. And most, I mean, not for Chinese food, but I want spicy food. And most people don't like that. Everybody's here, soup's on. The famous Mac soup of the Master Dojo. Let's eat, okay. Just give me the, give me the Gigantamix soup. I never explained the big deal about this soup. You see, when one drinks the Dojo's famous Mac soup, you feel Dynamax energy welling up inside of you. No, you don't. That kind of thing doesn't happen if a human has the soup, but things are a bit different when certain Pokemon drink the soup. There are certain Pokemon that have distinct potential. When they drink the soup, they Dynamax form will change into Gig Gigantamax. I'll keep one of the lads in the kitchen on soup duty from now on too. Yo, shout outs to that guy who unfortunately, and he's excited about it. Sir, you can no longer train in our dojo. You have to be the soup guy. What did he do wrong? What, I have a bold prediction. Um, <laughs> you all did your best in the second trial. I'm proud of everyone here. And last but not least, thanks to the soup, honey. Her name's Honey. And he calls her Honey. I call my wife Honey. So, that's a thing. By the way, A-Drive, meet me in my room when you have a moment. Okay, well, I'm gonna heal up, because I haven't done that, and who knows when they're gonna try to bamboozle me again. Restore my Pokemon. I love how you just walk into this, this closet. Everyone gets healed up in the closet. All right, Mustard, what's good? Oh, Clara's here. And here comes the, the Cram-O-Matic, AKA the Scam-O-Matic, the biggest scam of all time. This thing, by the way, one of the dumbest things, and what's so frustrating about this thing, I feel like I'm in a mood today. What's so frustrating about the Scam-O-Matic is the fact that, yeah, you gave me the XP charm. I get it, you gave me the Scam-O-Matic too. Do I like it? No, sure. They talk about the fact that it, it needs to be updated, and, oh, now I have to go get Watts. They talk about the fact that it needs to be updated, and they didn't update it in the Crown Tundra. They didn't make it better. The fact that there's such a randomization aspect to it is so busted. There you are, you driving, Clara. Thank you for coming. So what's this all about, Master? What did you want to tell us? Well, I decided that you two will take the Master's Dojo. Final last ultimate third trial. The final last ultimate third trial? Final last ultimate third trial? What's that? So basically, this is the last trial. Ah, oh, well, yes, that's the gist of it. You two are the only ones who successfully finished the first and second trial. You push each other to greater heights and helped each other grow. So I'd say it's finally time to see you stronger in a Dynamax Pokemon battle. We're gonna battle? That's the last trial? Yup, the rules are simple. Whoever wins will compete the trial. The winner will be granted the secret armor of the Master Dojo. This is it, finally. But can I? Ah, she's wondering if she can beat me. The battle will be held in the battle court behind the Master Dojo. The court is a power spot so you can Dynamax to your heart's content. I've gotta get going. I need to get there right away to prepare my pure heart for this. I'm going on ahead, okay? You can laze about like a slow poke and take as much time as you need. Okay, so I'm not sure how to feel about this because um, I haven't really done a whole lot of training or anything, but um, we'll have to see what happens. I can tell she's been doing the bare minimum, but things changed since you arrived. Maybe you've helped awaken some sort of passion in driving her. I hope that motivation is able to push her towards her gym leader goal. Okie dokie. Well, I've got some thinking to do. Let's take a look at our team and, and you know, like I said, oh man, they really want me to go there. I just did a bunch of stuff, but we're gonna have to battle Clara, so let's take a look. All right, so in the last Clara Bata, she was sitting at about kind of the high 20s. I'm assuming that she's gonna be a little stronger this time, so I'm gonna train up the team just a little bit. I wanna get everyone to about maybe 35, 36, 37, somewhere in there, uh, and also try to get Shellshock to evolve, because he never evolved last time. I'm not really sure if I missed something, but I'm gonna go train in the Isle of Armor for a little bit. If anything happens, I'll let you guys know, but let's get some grinding going. Yeah, that's it. I remembered seeing Blissey out here, and this is gonna be the perfect thing to train against. So let me battle a couple Blisseys, get a few levels. It should be pretty easy. Little Noibert going for Headbutt. I love him so much. Go on, Noibert. Do it. Do your thing. I gotta tell you guys a story. One time, Noibert, he was hanging out in between episodes, and the dude ate a dozen donuts in one sitting. It was actually wild. Oh, he just threw a lucky egg at me. Really? That's what we're doing? I could have stolen that. That's what we're doing today? Give me all that XP, Blissey. Thank you. This should this should level us up pretty quickly, I would assume. Yeah, I would say so. I would say so. This should be pretty easy. Ooh, Shellshock learning Defend Order. I like that. 
That could make him really bulky, especially with rough skin Rocky Helmet. I hope he keeps that. And he wants to learn Sandstorm. I don't know about that. And there's the evolution for Shell Shock, baby. Let's go. Right out the gate. I thought it was so weird he didn't evolve last episode, but it must be a different evolution level. And oh! Yo! I, he was going to learn Sandstorm. I wonder if he's a different type. Is he Bug Rock? He is Bug Rock! That's why he was trying to learn Sandstorm. And and he's gonna learn Excel Rock. So his attack and his, yo, and he still had, dude, this is hype. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of Aqua Jet for Excel Rock. That explains why he had Rock Throw as a little Shell Shock. That's actually amazing. Oh my God, Blimp is evolving too? Okay, so Blimp has a tendency to potentially explode at any moment. It's like Christmas. I love it. I love it so much. And now we have Drift Blimp, AKA Blimp. What are you gonna learn? Wants to learn the move Bug Buzz. Yes, please. Yes, please. Definitely has a higher special attack. So we can, this is such a cool move set too. Hex Will-O-Wisp. Bug Buzz and and uh, and defend order. Oh my god, I love it. No way! Norbert's evolving too. Ah! <laughs> the whole squad, baby. Oh! Oh! If you haven't hit the like button for Norbert yet, I don't know what to tell you. He's trying to learn Slash again. Oh my goodness! If you've ever eaten twelve donuts in one sitting, you already know about Norbert. Let's look at these these homies right now because we just got some legends, dude. He is rock type, bug and rock type. That's so good. And then we've got, he still has flare boost. Very nice. And Norbert is still bug and normal. I dig it. This is very cool stuff. And everyone's sitting pretty good right now. I'm gonna get it to like, like I said, maybe just a few more blissies and we should be good. Look at this takedown. Look what it's gonna happen. Rub skin and then Rocky helmet. Oh my God, I love that. That's so good, dude. And recoil. Oh my goodness. A cell rock. Oh, that's a cool animation. I'm really jazzed up about this uh, rock and bug war turtle. Viral trying to learn air slash, which I feel like is kind of dope. Um. Yeah, he's got a really cool moveset. I think I'm gonna get rid of X Scissor for Air Slash and just try to keep the diversity of his moveset on him. Yo, Shell Shock is evolving, let's go, dude. Okay, so we've been trading against Blissies and this is a massive evolution. Yeah! Look at this Blastoise! Let's go. Dude. It is Bug Rock, let's see if it kept its, uh, he wants to learn Power Gem. Yes, please. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna get rid of a Cell Rock, I think, for Power Gem. I like a Cell Rock, but I think having a, a more reliable... Yo, imagine if this thing got Diamond Storm. Oh my God. That would actually be busted. Here is Shell Shock. Still has rough skin. Very, very epic. Okay, I think we're good on training and we're at about 40, 39, 38 across the board. So let's fly to the dojo and let's go battle Clara. All right, squad is all ready. Let's head out into this canyon and battle Clara for our third and final challenge of the dojo, ladies and gentlemen. This is about to go down and she might be pretty tough. We'll have to see how this is gonna go. I'm just glad that we have Shell Shock. We have a Gigantamax. I think it'll be really strong. I'm hopeful at least. So let's see. What Clara has got for us. What are you doing, Clara? Let's see it. Whoo, you're here. When I beat you, I'll get the secret armor and then I'll finally pass the test to become a poison type gym leader. I've got to win no matter what. This is it, no more failure. I'm gonna go all out and totally beat you. You ready? I mean, I'm ready to beat you. I don't know if you're gonna beat me. And while this is uh, doing its thing, Mustard's here. Uh, I have a question today for you guys. Obviously, we're doing Shining Sword right now. We've got the DLC planned out for the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra. The team worked very hard on this. And I have a question. What extreme game do you want to see me tackle next? Do you want to see like an X and Y, a Sun and Moon? You let me know. I mean, I, I've done some extreme stuff in the past, but obviously Shining Sword has been very extreme. 
and who knows what we're cooking up. But uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Mustard says, the dojo's final trial. Ready? I got my little G Fuel patch. And she got little sparkles behind her. Okay, I see you. And she's just gonna kick things off. Pokemon Trainer Clara. She's gonna send out a Noibat. Okay, fair enough. I've got Viral out here. I believe in Viral. That Noibat is definitely, definitely a poison type, by the way, because it looks different. I'm not holding a single thing back anymore. Time to settle this fair and square. Oh, and maybe watch your step. Looks like some toxic spikes somehow got on the court. How is that? She sits here and says fair and square, and then toxic spikes me. Okay, we're gonna have to be really careful with that. Um, that could be problematic. I'm gonna just go for try attack here. I do get three potions, or full restores, or max potions, or whatever I want. And I do have unlimited antidotes if I have them. Oh, I can score a nice burn. And she's gonna whirlwind me out. Okay, into who? Into Jim. Earthworm Jim is out here. He's digging holes and he's critting fools. Earthworm Jim, you're poison too, though. Which is, you know, less than ideal, Earthworm Jim. All right, you're gonna catch a burn there. And Ancient Power is super effective. So I think this thing is probably poison and flying like Crobat. So let's get that boost. Give me that boost, Earthworm Jim. He doesn't get the boost. Earthworm Jim, you were supposed to get the boost. You didn't get it, you forgot to do it. And you forgot to crit too, Earthworm Jim. Your whole thing is, your whole shtick is that you crit fools. I don't think you crit anyone yet. All right, back into viral. That's actually probably best case scenario that we go back into viral here, because I'm already poisoned. And then the Noibat hangs on by a thread. I obviously have to stay in here, so why don't we just try attack just for this, the easy KO? I would, I would heal off the poison, but like, it's kind of, kind of a bad idea with everything going on. So, okay, so Noibat's gone. That's all good news for us. And we're gonna get a little XP there. Viral's doing big things. He's taking a lot of poison damage, but he's doing big things. Here comes Rapidash. This is not a poison type. Okay, so Rapidash is Psychic Fairy, I think. Isn't it? Or is it not in this game? Because it doesn't say Iron Head is super effective, but I may not have ever faced one before. I'm gonna go for the Iron Head and see what happens. Mega Horn! Okay, we eat that, we eat that. Let's see if this is super effective or not. Oh yeah, it is! That was a crit. Still awesome though. Okay, so what I think I wanna do, I think, I mean, I could take one more hit. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I could take one. I'm gonna U-turn. Morning Sun! That's kinda busted! Okay. Okay. I If I knew that, I would've obviously not U-turned. Good damage, good damage. I don't think I'm gonna have anything faster. I could go blimp and just go for hex. Yeah, I'm thinking that that's my best bet. Let's go blimp. Let's go for hex, because it's gonna be super effective. And I think that that'll be solid. I obviously get poison, which means that I don't get to activate my flare boost, which is kind of annoying, but. And that point, dude, that's so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go for hex. Let's see what this thing's gonna do. I'm faster, okay, that's actually really clutch. I did not anticipate being faster. Maybe Blimp has some buffs in this game to allow him to be faster. I'm not entirely sure, but I will gladly take that. I will gladly take that scenario. Now I'm obviously gonna take a little extra damage here. Let's see what comes in next. Scolipede. Okay, and it's shoddy Scolipede, obviously. I really don't know what this thing's gonna do. I'm thinking I should go in a Noibert though, cause I can get an Intimidate off on him. So whatever he does do, I at least drop his attack stat. Cause Scolipede's pretty much always a physical attacker. Although I'm waiting for the Venishock Pokemon to come out. Cause I feel like that's inevitable. I'm gonna get poisoned again. I get an Intimidate off, which is nice. And let's see what he's gonna do. He's gonna go for Throat Chop. So he had a dark type move, which would have been super effective. So it's all good that I got out of there. Okay, I have to get out of here again. I think the play is we just U-turn out and go into something else, but like, what am I going into? Probably Shell Shock, right? Just come in and go for a Power Gem? Yeah, that's probably the best bet. Let's do that. Let's U-turn out. 
He's gonna poison jab me. This might hurt. Okay, Norbert, you took it like a boss. Let's you turn out of here. And then let's go into big shell shock now. I think this is the best time to do it. We've obviously got that rough skin. We've got that rocky helmet. So if he goes for any physical moves, we'll be in decent shape. Obviously, I gotta get poisoned. I think it's too early to max. I think that that would be a, a mistake to max right now. So, she's got four Pokemon left still. I think I just power gem, honestly. And it's gonna baton pass! What? Into a Zoomeril. Okay, well, I get a nice fat power gem off. Does nothing. It's not very effective. What type are you? Poison what? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do to this thing. Um, I could go Earthworm Jim. I think I want to stay in. I'm going to go for Muddy Water and see what happens. He's got a Pasho Berry. You know, he might be ground in poison. Because that's super effective. And he's gonna muddy water me. This is super effective too. Oh, Shell Shock. Let my poison drive you claw crazy. Okay, so here's what I gotta do. I think. I think the play here is I gotta use my first and uh, potion. What do I have? Everyone's poison. I do have full restore, so I'm gonna use my first full restore on Shell Shock here. I'm gonna get to full health, and then I gotta muddy water this thing to obliteration here. He muddy waters and hits it, and it does about half. No accuracy drop though. I'm gonna muddy water myself. Don't miss. Nice hit, dude. That was a big hit. Okay, that was actually big. Okay, so I got rid of a zoom roll. Oh, man. All right, Shell Shock gets a level. Here comes Scolipede. Okay, I think, I think I stay in and I just power gem him. X Scissor. I could take that. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, there's rough skin. There's the rocky helmet. Here comes the power gem. And Scolipede's gone. Okay. This is all so far okay. Jim wants to learn defend order. Honestly, I guess that's okay over streaming. Everyone's learning defend order on this squad right now. Okay. So now I gotta figure this out. X scissor on viral. He had X scissor. I deleted it earlier, so I get rid of it. I'm not gonna take it now. And blimp to 40 as well. Here comes an X plow, dude. What? Okay, I have no idea what type that thing is. Um, I think I need to go out. I think I'm gonna go into blimp. I think I'm gonna go into blimp. I need to heal off shell shock. He goes for Dazzling Gleam. Okay. We eat that, though. We eat that. Kind of. Not really. He's gonna take... Oh, he's badly poisoned by the Toxic Orb. So he's not poison type? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm kind of in a situation where I don't really have a choice here. I almost feel like I have to... I could go Gym. I could go Earthworm Gym. Oh boy. Um, I may have to go Earthworm Gym. He went for Dazzling Gleam. I have no idea what type this thing is. I legitimately have no idea what type this thing is. And I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Like, I need to get Shell Shocked, healed up. So I've used one potion. I have two more, basically, right? And one of them needs to go for Shell Shocked. So I think what I'm gonna do. I think what I do is I go viral. It's very risky. I I assume that viral can live a hit. I full restore viral. I beat the X Cloud. I full restore Shell Shocked. This is so risky, dude. 
I don't think I have another option. He dazzling gleams. Viral eats like a boss. Poison starts to hit up on the X-Blood, okay. I can live one. I'm gonna use my second full restore. I'm gonna use my second full restore on Viral. Okay. And he's gonna go for Switcheroo. And he's gonna, oh my God, he's gonna give me his Toxic Warp and he's gonna take my Eviolite. Oh, this just gets worse and worse, dude. It really just gets worse and worse. Okay, I think what I need to do, I have to just, I have to just pony up here. We got a full restore Shell Shock. Cause I need Shell Shock, cause that's gonna be my max. And that's my last potion. Here comes a Dazzling Gleam, but I no longer have my Eviolite. Okay, I can take, I can take it. I can take one more. I may, oh man. All right, I think what I do. Hmm. I'm gonna Iron Head. Am I faster? Can I get a flinch? Okay. And I flinched him. Okay. And he's gonna go down to poison. Okay. And there's just one Pokemon left, I think. One left? Everyone's level 40. There's no way I'm losing. I land and go till the bitter end. And she's got her Charizard in Evolve, level 42. And it's got Psychic Surge. Oh no. And I'm out of potions. I think I need to sack something off to get Shell Shock in here, guys. I think Blimp has to go. I think I have to say goodbye to Blimp. I don't think I have a choice. I have to sack something here because this thing is most likely gonna gi Gigantamax, right? It's gonna be a Gigantamax Charizard. So if it Gigantamaxes, one, something is dying right now. I need to switch something in so I can get Shell Shock in. I'm sorry, it's, it's, in my mind, it's Jim or Blimp, dude. It's Jim or Blimp. It's, I don't know, man. I kind of like Blimp a little bit. I kind of like Blimp, but I like Earthworm Jim too. I'm sorry, Blimp. I'm sorry. It's gotta be you. It's gotta be you, Blimp. Oh. Wait, you didn't Gigantamax. It didn't Gigantamax. Does she not use it in this battle? I would have thought she would have Gigantamaxed. I have G-Max Cannonade and then Max Rockfall. I'm gonna go for the G-Max Cannonade. And we're gonna go big Shell Shock. I'm sorry, Blimp. I am so sorry. I had no choice. I had no choice. Oh my gosh! Giant shell shot, look at him! Wow, with rock cannons now. Mist ball. Okay, we eat that. G-Max cannonade! Oh, that does nothing. Why did that do nothing? It's not very effective. What type are you then? Are you Psychic and Dragon? Are you Psychic and Dragon? I'm going for Flutterby. Breaking Swipe. Okay, that's actually good though. It drops my attack, but it gives you Rough Skin Rocky Helmet. And then I can get off a massive Max Flutterby. And I think this thing is Psychic type. Okay, we beat Clara. It cost us Blimp, but we did it. Oh my gosh, if she were to have Gigantamaxed her Charizard, I think I lose the whole battle. She did have Toxic Spikes, which were pretty pretty cheesy though. Oh my gosh, I didn't hold back, I gave it everything I've got. 
Dude, that was a rough loss. <gasps> and like an anime episode! Viral is evolving! Viral! Yeah! Silvoli! Oh my gosh. And it is bug type. Wants to learn the move X Scissor. I mean, you had X Scissor. Wow, he's so good too. Evil Light no longer is good on it. I'm gonna stick to what I have. I kind of like having a U-turn. Wow, wants to learn multi attack. Okay, so I'm really interested to see, and multi attack is buffed in this game. I'm really interested to see how this is gonna play out. If it has RKS system, and if I can change its typing and be bug and something else, or what happens. The victor has been decided. The one to complete the third trial is you, A Drive. Hooray! That was amazing. What a fierce battle. Well done. You both gave it your all. Oh man, I totally lost. Well, this stinks. I do everything, even cheat a little, and still lose. Yeah, you did. I don't expect a young, talented kid like you to really get it, but I really was trying, you know, as hard as I could. Maybe it's time for me to make an exit. I need to get my financials in a better place. Once they find out what I did, I'll be expelled from the dojo anyway. A drive, you can tell the master that I cheated. <laughs> I won't. But why? All I've done this whole time is treated you like a dung beetle. She's really, she's really doing that. That's your strength, A drive. Kindness towards both your Pokemon and your rivals. Master. I should apologize on Clara's behalf too, as her master. What she did was wrong, but. She just didn't want to be beaten by a rival, that's all. Oh, so it's okay to cheat? That's fine. I'm sorry, A-Drive. Ask your punishment, Clara. You're gonna look after the Pokemon in the dojo for six months by yourself. Six months. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of work, but is that all? Of course, let's work on strengthening your heart. Okay. All right, everyone, things are settled here. I'm proud of you both. You mustered so much effort and tried so hard. I'm so teared up that I could even see half the battle, but what I saw was amazing. I'm tearing up. A-Drive, you gave your best and triumphed, even when faced with an unfair challenge. To you who has competed all the trials. I grant the secret armor of the Master Dojo. It'll take some time to repair, so I'll go ahead and get things sorted. And that's all, gang, as you were. The secret armor. A-Drive. Um, I, well... Oh, you give me your lead card. Goodbye, Blimp. We hardly do you. Oh, it's so sad too, because like I told you guys, Blimp just loves to play with fire, but he just doesn't like s'mores, and that is what did him in at the end, I think. All right, what's good, Mustard? There you are, A-Drive, keeping this old man waiting. Since you've completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Now then, come on out! <gasps> In all its glory! Wow. He's so shy. Come join me, little guy. This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Bugfu! It's Bugfu! Raise it with diligence and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle, just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is, it's a bit shy. It doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking, A Drive, maybe if it joins you on your adventure, that'll help it break out of its shell a little bit. So take good care of Bugfu. It's in your hands now. Bugfu? A Bugma? Bugfu? I love him. I love him so. Bugfu became your Pokemon! He's bugging fighting! 
Would I like to nickname him? So I nickname all my Pokemon, but Bugfu is such a good name. So all I'm gonna do is just call him Bugfu, but I'm just gonna spell Fu with like this, and that that's that. Because I can't how do I how do I call him anything but Bugfu? That's amazing. Now then, the first thing to do is become best friends with Bugfu. You need to build trust. This Bugfu hasn't had many good experiences with people, so maybe it'll help if you become better friends with it and have a look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students standing at good spots, so just keep an eye out. And of course, having battles or camping out together will also make you more friendly towards each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant you to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball here in the Isle of Armor. You can now let a Pokemon take a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together. Once you're best buddies, we'll start Bugfu's training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you're ready. Bugfu. Oh, I love you so much, little guy. So Bugfu is only level 10. He has tinted lens. So moves that do not very, uh, very effective damage. First impression? Oh my God, I love him. Oh, look at Viral as well. Oh, so sick. And there is Bugfu. Me and Bugfu are ready to take on the Isle of Armor. I hope you guys are excited. 6,000 likes. Show some love for Bugfu if you haven't yet. And don't forget a new episode every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Bonus episodes on Sunday. So smash that like button. And don't forget you guys can pick up these amazing Team Shawnee shirts at TeamShawnee.com. Go represent your favorite starter or grab the bundle, which is a great deal, by the way. $60 for three high quality shirts. And they are very good quality, by the way. We print on really nice shirts. They're super comfy, soft easy to wear. You'll love them. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Shining Sword. That's gonna be for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.